Um, today I'm going to talk to you about how to create AI images. I had a, a LinkedIn message from a coworker overseas who said, hey, I like the AI image of the day. Can you show me how you do it? And I thought, well, it'd be a great tutorial video just because, hey, why not? So the first thing you need to do is there is a Chrome extension called AI. IPRM for ChatGPT, and when you pay for ChatGPT Plus, which is the $20 pay plan, it comes along with what is called a prompt builder that you can install. And if you look in this middle column, there is a mid journey activity pull down menu, and if you select it, it gives you all these different ways to make prompts. And the one I've really found useful is there is one that generates six different ideas for a prompt based on a single input. And that's sort of what I've used for the AI image of the day on LinkedIn that I've been sharing. So if I want to come in here and let's say it is Tuesday and I want to create an image, I'm going to say Tuesday morning in the spring. When I input it, it's going to give me six different prompts that I can put into mid-journey to see the images to see if I like them. And the finalist is usually the one I choose. Now, because this is based on NLP, I wanted it to continue this but we're just gonna blow it off never mind okay so this is the first prompt it suggested Tuesday morning in the spring portrayed as a photograph and if I cut and copy everything from the prompt on this gives me what I need to put into mid journey for my image so if I come over here to discord which is the server where you can do mid journey I have a server for myself and friends set up. I can come in here. I can paste my prompt. And when it says paste, I can say imagine. And it will turn that into a prompt that is inputted into Dolly. It's a little bit like Slack. Forward slash imagine gives you the input area to put your text to create the image. So put it in here it's going to take a bit to generate and as it does I'm going to pick out another one of these styles and put a, a couple of others in there so you can see this I can give you this I could do this Now, the thing about mid-journey is it's processing through as a percentage. So when you put in your input prompt, it kicks off the job. It goes to create the image. It's going to give you four variants of the image. And then you can decide which variant you want to upscale for your image. And there will be controls under the image that are visible once the processing completes. Here's the example. If I like this image or any one of these images, when I click the thumbnail, it's going to bring up the quad photos and I can open in my browser and see the images as large and choose which ones I like. I kind of like the ones with that, the duck. I kind of like this one too. They're all kind of good. So if I want to upsize this one, this is three upscale I can process through that image as my image now here's the other one I generated Tuesday morning is an oil painting I kind of like this one in the in the lower right as well because of the path and how it enters the picture so I can upscale that one as well that's photo 4 upscale that 
so this is the one that I chose earlier to upsize and if I look at that image this is the image that I have now that I can use if I go back to discord my other processing images should be coming through too here's the other one I created in the style of Monet Here's the upsized version that I did here. Now, if I open this in a browser, you can see this is delivered out to the content delivery network. So this is a public URL. And when I put this in LinkedIn, all I really need to do then is go to my LinkedIn account and paste the CDN link into the image. It's going to load the preview going to fetch the image so that it can be presented. Oh great, can't do it. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to save our image to our desktop. And then I'm just going to upload it into it instead of using the CDN link. All right, so this is our image. And now that it's loaded in, I can take the text prompt I created, go back over here, and say, Happy Tuesday, everyone. Your AI image of the day. is brought to you by mid journey and the words Tuesday and spring the prompt and then I usually just lay in some keywords That's it. You can choose to post it in a couple of other groups if you want to. But if I go back, there's my post. Happy Tuesday, everybody.